Hey there, it's uh, Dr. Scott McLean. We'll be showing off the X-Guide here for a anterior surgery. You'll see that we do have sterile tinfoil. Kind of looks funny on there, but they sterilize this to do a uh, sterilization procedure, make it, keep it sterile. So we plan the implant in a DTX Studio Implant. You can see that we've got some thin uh, bone here. It's been grafted. So we'll start by taking the screws out. We're going to actually do the first drill with the X-Guide. And you didn't really get to see that, but they started the video a little bit late. So when we flap, I usually like to then flap right around that osteotomy so you actually can see where the osteotomy is going to start because the X-Guide takes you to that point. And so you can see the X-Clip is in place with the patient tracker. And this allows us to work and know exactly where our hands are going to be when we're doing our drilling. As I flap, I'm just gonna do a kind of a mini flap. I don't need to take the whole thing back too far. I've taken the screws out from the buckle. And now we'll just lift it up a little bit. There's the initial uh, precision drill. And so this was done using the X-Guide. And I'll show you the next drill. We're gonna take this and kind of measure the drill. So we're measuring the depth of the drill. So we've got a tracker on the handpiece and also a tracker on the patient. And then they calibrate these using a two camera system. So you can see my hands kind of uh, looking right down through the camera itself. If we look up, there's the two cameras. And they have this kind of fluorescent light to help to see the trackers. So this goes over top of the patient and you have to keep the trackers in view. So as we go in, you'll, you'll see my hand moving around. It's kind of cool. You can see the cylinder, which represents the drill, and we're testing and calibrating the system now. And then we'll start to do our preparation. So as we go back in, we can see that uh, we're going down to a certain depth. So we're getting down to the depth of, uh, we're placing a 10 millimeter implant here. So we're gonna take it right up to that 9.5 mark, or just ahead of that. And this tells us that we're going to be in the right spot for placement of the implant. So we'll do this on a number of drills and uh, this will enable us to get the osteotomy widened, but we'll also use the implant to kind of put a little, a little bit of pressure here. And you can see I'm going back in the blue implant on the right hand side. You can actually see the model that I've planned in DTX Studio Implant. And it's not gonna go hit the uh, bone screw. Those have been taken out. But you can see that we're kind of tracking that exact position as we go down inside and kind of staying to an angle of the angle is here about 1.2, 1.4, which is very, very minimal kind of movement. And uh, so you can see as we're going in, we can follow the implant placement so we get to the right depth and angulation with this system. And here's my hand moves. So, so the x-ray is not on at this point. The trackers are calibrated together. And as we put the implant and we actually do a calibration of that as well. So you'll be able to place the implant and see it along the whole time that you're putting it in. So I'll be watching the screen like this. And then the, the patient uh, access is uh, kind of made by the dental assistant. So she's holding the tissues and everything out of the way. As I place the implant, we get it exactly into the position and the computer will give us some feedback and say, yeah, you're right there. So it's green. It means that we're good and uh, we've got the implant to the right depths. Now we'll put a little bit of allograft in. So this allograft is going just to help to enhance the area and build it up a little bit more. We're going to close here and do a second stage surgery in about four months. And, um, uh, so we'll come back in. So we'll put the suture in and, and then let the patient wear a temporary that's gonna go over top of this. She'll be wearing an Essex appliance, which will kind of keep the shape a little bit. So it's pretty straightforward and uh, very quick and easy. The beauty of it is you can put the clip in the patient's mouth, take the x-ray and then do the surgery the same day. And this is kind of nice because the patient then does not have to come back and make a template and do all that type because I do about 100% of my cases guided. So here's the position of the implant. You can see it's idealized 
Uh, it's the same as when we did the uh, planning. So this is Chris Garf, one of the inventors of the X-Guide. And we had a good chat about some of the upcoming uh, secrets with the X-Guide. There's some really cool stuff coming down the pipe. And so he was telling me some of these. I unfortunately can't share those with you. But stay tuned. There's going to be some cool changes. And this is all about the X-Guide from XNAV Technologies.